A 7.1 magnitude earthquakes in the Richter scale has hit uh, the southernmost islands of the Japan. That is in the, near the Kagoshima. On the other, other side of this island, we have the, of course, the Sakurajima volcano. You can see the geographical location. This is the earthquakes are starting. Four times the speed up, of course, this is a long video, so I have to speed it up for you. Uh, during the traffic, you can see that cars are stopped. In the buildings, actually, you can uh, see it. The date is written there, 8th of the August, and uh, 8th of the 8th, 2024. And uh, this is where the people were playing bowling. And they are trained, actually, from childhood in the schools. When there is an earthquake, go under the table. Anything that protects your body. Your body is soft and brittle. And the table and anything else is more strong than th your body. And this, of course, uh, may s end up in a tsunami. This video is not probably from that time, from today. Uh, these are the earlier videos, probably. Uh, I will show you also a video, dramatic video, from the 2000. Uh, 11 tsunami that we had there i uh, cannot confirm that video was from the today but this is the 2011 one you can see the whole sea actually invading the land like a wall of water uh, the tectonic situations of this uh, uh, earthquakes are interesting japan is at the margin of the pacific ocean we have the Ohotsk plate and the philippine plate um, in contact with the Amora plate, a micro plate of the Eurasia. Uh, when they go underneath these two plates hit, one of them, which is a denser one, that is the oceanic plate made of basalt. This is a dense rock. It goes subducting under the uh, lighter, less dense oceanic, uh, sorry, continental plate. And that leads to this uh, setting uh, and undergoing creates the wedge of the material ahead of it. And the Japan is created by that wedge of material. Earthquakes happen there. I have a video about this wedge, which we call accretionary wedges. And they are responsible for many of the earthquakes in the coastal areas, including Canada, Iran and elsewhere. Taiwan also is one of those places. Watch that. Vancouver Island earthquakes are quite common. In the 2022, we had more than 2,200 earthquakes. Some of them really strong historically. We have a very strong nine magnitude, magnitude nine earthquakes in the Richter scale. And uh, this is because we have a similar situation to what we see in the Macron coast of Iran in the north of the Indian Ocean, where the uh, Indian Ocean plate and uh, uh, in the Arabian African plate are pushing against the Iranian plate and Eurasian plate, creating something which is called accretion in the prism. We have the same situation with the Juan de Foca plate in the British Columbia, pushing against the North American plate. And in the accretion weird wedge up there in that situation is the Vancouver Island. So Vancouver Island is an accretion in wedge, very similar to the Baluchistan of Iran, the Macron coast there, where the extension in the Juan de Foca and the Pacific Ocean creates a subduction on the west side, on the east side, where the um, um, Juan de Foca plate and the Explorer plate are undergoing subduction, sinking down under the North American plate, creating these accretionary wedges, which are folded ground and jumble of uh, sediments, all kinds of sediments, rising and creating this island that we call Vancouver Island, as you can see here. Uh, on the back of it, we have the British Columbia volcanoes. You can't believe it. Yes, we have the same in the Basman, Baluchistan also. And we have even one mud volcano. Uh, I'm sure that there is in British Columbia some mud volcanoes must be there because we in the Basman and the Macron area of Iran, we also have this situation. Mud volcanoes are very common there. And we have this uh, chain of the volcanoes coming from the St. Helens and Mount Rainier and others, continuing to Canada. Uh, we never hear, hear about it, but we have volcanoes there. Um, anyway, they have decided not to talk about the bad things about. Yeah, that's why that's the way of, you know, promoting your country. So, uh, earthquakes in Vancouver Island. The last one was just last week.